Okay, I am now in my uh, DJI software on my computer. And I'm going to switch hands here. Okay, I'll go to info. Now, if you can see, I have the latest software. It says no dates, updates available. I already updated. Now I'm going to go to setup. Okay, now we're in setup. Hit start. Okay, I got traditional receiver type. I got a AR8000 receiver in there. Okay, my GPS and attitude, that's working. I don't have the failsafe working yet. I gotta, I gotta rebind the uh, AR8000 to set the failsafe in the receiver. So it, that, that, that's one thing I don't have working yet. Okay, next. Okay, we we calibrated um, the transmitter already. Um, gonna hit start. Okay, we're gonna go with the throttle. Now with the cyclic throttle again. Okay, idle up switch and the G manual GPS switch. Hit finish, and there we go. Okay, we're still. I'll go to the next screen. Okay, the NAS is facing forward. Okay, I will see if I can get a shot of the NAS in there. Uh, it might be too dark. Let me turn the light on. See if we can see it or not. Okay, the NASA is right here. Alright, right on the bottom shelf, about 10 centimeters forward of the um, center shaft. Okay, I don't know why my mounting locations changed, but I have them set in there. Okay. Okay, one centimeter there, and over here, minus 70 centimeters, press enter to enter, okay, the GPS is mounted back here on the tail boom, and it's about 70 meters to the center, or 70 centimeters to the center of the main shaft there. Okay, so we got that set. Next, okay, we got the rotation as clockwise. Fly barless. Okay. Next, we have 120 with the, with the elevator in the front of the helicopter. This one here is the elevator in the back, but on mine, you can see there the elevators in the front. So we have it set for the front here. I'm going to flip this down a little bit. Let's see. Move this out of the way. Okay. So next. Okay. Server direction. Okay. Up. Down. Up. Down. You can see all three servos are going up and they're going down. Okay. You can see I have S1 normal, S2 normal, and S3 is reversed. Okay, next. Okay. Next. The swash plate is level. I'm not going to bother taking the head off. And let me reset this here. 
to, to zero pitch. I don't know if we can see it. Oh, there's a good shot right there. Zero pitch. So, we have this set. Okay. Next. Cyclic mix. The way I'm reading this, the elevator and the aileron is supposed to go in the right direction, same direction. Which for some reason I'm not going. Up, down, okay. Aileron. Okay, I had it over here. Okay. The other arm is going up and down. Okay, there's where my settings are. Okay, the elevator going down and up like it's supposed to. The side click, right. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Okay, so that's going in the right direction there. Okay, next. Uh, we're supposed to be at eight. Uh, eight degrees on that. Okay. Next. Okay, the rudder. Uh, see if we can zoom in on the rudder here. Okay, right, left, right, left, okay, that, and my travel is pretty good, I'm not quite all the way to the end of the travel, I left a little bit there, I don't want to, to because it, it, at 100% it was binding out, okay, now, Now we do the test here, okay, which is, back this out, there we go, uh, now we're supposed to go up with the uh, blades, the main rotor blades, so let's put this over into attitude mode like it's supposed to, it's asking me to, to. okay, up, down, okay. Up, down. That's working. Okay, next is our right and our left. So, I'm going to hit this again. That's working where it's showing on the diagram. Okay, now then. The elevator. Now, remember, on the picture here, it's using this retainer strap thing here that I don't have on my helicopter. So, actually, my elevator is over here in the front. So, but it's supposed to go down and then up. Down and then up. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. Okay, watch the elevator. Down and up. Down and up. So that one's right. 
And this one here is the rudder direction. I'll zoom in on the rudder again. Okay. Left, right. Left, right. So that one's working. Now we'll go click finish. Okay. Hit the OK. Alright. I'll back this back out. So the setup should be done. So I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to unplug the power. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the USB. We're going to power her back up. Alright, here we go. Put that to manual mode. Okay, now it should be, we're in, uh, we're in normal mode, not in idle up, throttle holds off, we're in manual mode. Okay, you can see right off the bat, the swash plate isn't level. It's supposed to go up, down, up, down, up, down, left, right, or I should say right, left, right, left. Forward, reverse. Forward, reverse. Let's zoom in a little bit on it. Forward, reverse. You can see it's not it's not level. I don't know why it should be should be level right now. All right, up, down, up, down. It's not level. It's not going up. The, the elevator isn't even moving hardly. Okay, now we'll go to idle up one. Same thing. You can see it's not that that's why should play should be should be level. Right there it should be level. That's not. Okay, I up two. Same thing. Okay now we're in attitude mode. Up down. Up, see it's not going to show, it should be going up, and it's not, it's going like crooked. Down. Okay. Same thing, I just flipped it in idle up one. Up. Down. Now I had a normal... Okay, here's right, left, that's working, right, left, but see how it's going up, right, left, forward, reverse, same thing again, I just let go of the stick, that should be level, right there, and it's not. Anyways, that's what this is doing, hope you can help.